President Joe Biden in the primetime speech tonight warning that former President Trump and his allies are threatening our democracy. And GOP leaders are already firing back. KKL 9 political reporter Tom Wade is here live with what appears to be the launch of uh, President Biden's midterm. Absolutely. I think this is a preview of what we're going to see for the next few months until the midterm elections in November. So President Biden was fired up and not only did he warn the country democracy was under attack, he also cal called out Republicans for their opposition to a abortion rights and what he called threats to marriage equality. Tonight, I've come to this place where it all began. President Joe Biden at Independence Hall in Pennsylvania, the birthplace of the nation's democracy, to make his case that our fragile system is under attack, and he took direct aim at the former president. We must be honest with each other and with ourselves. Too much of what's happening in our country today is not normal. Donald Trump and the MAGA Republicans represent an extremism that threatens the very foundations of our republic. Biden sounding the alarm over the GOP primary wins of Trump-supported election deniers in states across the country. And they're working right now as I speak in state after state to give power to decide elections in America to partisans and cronies, empowering election deniers to undermine democracy itself. The president also emphasizing the divide on reproductive rights and marriage equality. MAGA forces are determined to take this country backwards, backwards to an America where there is no right to choose, no right to privacy, no right to contraception, no right to marry who you love. On his administration's achievements, Mr. Biden pointed to the passage of the bipartisan infrastructure bill, gun safety legislation, and most recently the passage of the Inflation Reduction Act, which included plans to address the climate crisis. We passed the most important climate initiative ever, ever, ever. Shortly before the president's speech, California Republican Congressman and GOP minority leader Kevin McCarthy was not far away in Biden's hometown of Scranton, Pennsylvania. Joe Biden has launched an assault on the soul of America, on its people, on its laws, on its most sacred values. He has launched an assault on our democracy. McCarthy trying to make the case the country is worse off now than it was when Biden took office. What is clear to me and clear to you is that Washington and the White House aren't listening. They just don't get it. You have never been more worried, more alarmed by the direction of our country. A new CBS News poll found seven in 10 Americans believe democracy and the rule of law are under threat. And that is about the same patent one as it was right after the January 6th attacks. So this is a big issue going into the election. Yeah, because it's lasted for quite some time. It has, right. and there's a lot of people still spreading false information about the 2020 election. All right. Thank you, Tom. Thanks, Tom. Thank you.